my name is ss benchali department of mathematics basveshwar engineering college bagalkot karnataka india for any suggestions please write yes benchali at gmail.com friends in this video i am going to discuss about the properties of beta functions so i want to prove that beta of m comma n is equal to 2 times of 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 2m minus 1 theta cos raised to 2n minus 1 theta d theta. So I can take the help of definition of beta function. Beta of mn is equal to integration of 0 to 1 x raised to m minus 1 into 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 dx. Here I am going to use the method of substitution. Put x is equal to sin square theta we will differentiate dx is equal to 2 times of sin theta into derivative of sin theta is cos theta d theta right so when we use this method limits will change when x is equal to 0 what is the value of theta when x is equal to 1 what is the value of theta so when x is equal to 0 right so for what value of theta I will get 0 when I replace theta by 0 sin 0 is 0 right when x is equal to 1 what is the value of theta I replace theta by 5 by 2 are the new values of theta so now I am going to substitute these values so beta of m comma n is equal to integration of 0 to 5 by 2 x means what sin square theta sin square theta raised to m minus 1 into 1 minus sin square theta raised to n minus 1 dx means what 2 times of sin theta cos theta d theta right so this is equal to 0 to 5 by 2 sin raised to 2m minus 2 theta 1 minus sin square theta means cos square theta cos raised to 2n minus 2 theta 2 is constant I write outside sin theta into cos theta d theta this is equal to 2 times of 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 2m minus 2 theta into sin theta base is same you can add the powers sin raised to 2m minus 1 theta similarly cos raised to 2n minus 1 theta because cos raised to 2n minus 2 theta into cos theta d theta right so i think this is the required equation so thank you very much for watching this video